What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going to teach you a little bit about how to use a pipe wrench. So those of you who have used a pipe wrench in the past or you're a professional, maybe you could benefit from this. I'm always fighting with a pipe wrench, but I've come up with a little method to uh, help me do it better. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to the video. You know, actually, I've got an idea. Hold on. All right, guys, so we're in an environment a little bit more conducive for training. So uh, the main thing I want to get across to you is this little trick. It's called trace the C. So if you're trying to loosen something, you're trying to go lefty loosey, uh, then you need to orient your pipe wrench in the same way. Lefty loosey, trace the C, okay? So when you take your wrench off here, you can see, aha, trace the C, right? So we're going lefty loosey. If we were going righty tighty, we'd orient it like this. So it's righty tighty. We're tracing the C this way. So if we put our pipe wrench on our fitting here, okay, now we're going righty tighty. Piece of cake, right? All right, so some tips for you if you're uh, operating a pipe wrench for the first time. You want your fitting to go all the way into the throat of the wrench. So. Here is the throat of the wrench here, and you want the, the fitting to go all the way into the throat. So you want to loosen your wrench enough so that it goes all the way on the fitting. Then tighten it down, and you should be locked in, ready to go. So as you move it around, it will literally stay where you leave it, okay? Boom, all the way into the throat of the wrench. Now, here's the next uh, tip here, a backup wrench. If you have a backup wrench, it's to hold what you're um, trying to loosen from. So. If you have a union, a uh, cap like this, and it's on a nipple that is uh, coming out of something like a boiler here, now you need to back up that nipple to take off your cap. So your backup wrench will go the opposite direction. So you're gonna try to righty tighty to lefty loosey the cap. So you need to orient your wrench exactly the opposite of the way that you're trying to loosen or trying to tighten for that matter. So. It goes on there like that. You're tracing the C righty tighty. Your other wrench to loosen is lefty loosey tracing the C to the left. It's that easy. So if you were to put these wrenches close together, which I'm gonna have to hold these, but they would essentially be backwards of each other. So your back wrench is always gonna be backwards of exactly what you're trying to loosen or tighten. So if you're trying to loosen, it should be in the right, right direction. If you're trying to tighten, it should be in the loose direction. So uh, that's some good tips for you there. Uh, try to make my props as big as possible. So remember, always trace the seat. Let's get back to the garage. All right, guys, so I hope you like that explanation. If it helps someone out, that's what it's there for. So give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Please click that subscribe button. I'd love to see you around the channel. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.